Alright everybody, I am back. I said I was going to do a video on my um, system. You know, I hooked up. I showed you guys how to hook up the factory amp, I mean, uh, uh, amp, to, uh, amp inside of your car without replacing the factory radio. Then I showed you what wires I was going to use. And then I got the zero gauge in like I said I was. Right there. And then I got this... Uh, I think it's a 4 gauge or 8 gauge, I don't really remember. It's just one of those ones from Walmart, you know. They got a nice little fuse. That one, this zero gauge goes to this amp right here, Power Acoustics. The new one I was telling everybody about. The other amp that I had, that Boss uh, Inferno, I think it was. It wasn't any good. It, it was messed up before I put it in there. I was telling you about that in the other video. It, w it was messed up. So I bought another amp for my highs and everything. This is just some stupid little amp that I just got at the pawn shop. It's a Q... Q2, I think, or something like that. Hold on, I'm trying to move it. I don't know if you can really see it. O2, my bad. It's called an O2 amp. I'm not even really sure how much the wattage is because I don't think it said it anywhere. But, uh... I think it's like 900 to 1,000 watt. Anyway, so 250 watt and probably 1,000 watt on that. That's for just my highs. I got a lot of wiring back here, but that's just because there's, I don't have, like all this wiring right here is um, the splitting system and everything for the RCA cables. Those are just RCA cables. This is just speaker wire. Then I have my power wire for that amp and then the black and red power wires coming into my eight frag capacitors, a Bosch capacitor. And then I have one, two fans, another fan right here. And what I did, cause my amp, this amp would overheat, my power acoustic amp would overheat. So what I did, I put a bunch, I don't know if you can really see it. I'm trying to, there we go. On, uh, it's hard to see. I put a bunch of washers before the screw to kind of lift the amp up off of the box. So that way it's still attached to the box, but it has a nice air gap. And there is, and what I did too, there's actually four, I actually put four fans inside of here. There's a fan, I cut out the back of this, uh, I cut out the back part of the panel like this is, and the metal, I unscrewed the back part cut out a hole a square hole into this one anyway I cut out a square hole out of this one and put one of these fans inside of that square hole so now there's like an open square hole in there but the fans covering it up so that way a fan could blow right on the motherboard inside of this um inside of the amp anyway so that way it wouldn't overheat and cut out on me so I could play it as loud as I want and I never have to worry about it messing up and there goes that uh, um, inline converter that I was telling you about. So I'm just using speaker wire and it's connected to this inline converter and it works very well. I'm going to turn it on and let you guys hear it in just a second. But uh, anyway, like I said, all this cabling right here is just mostly RCA. I got one power wire that goes to this amp. The other power wire and everything else is coming from that amp. And then... I just ran all my other wiring through the whole car, but you can't see none of this because this is just the back part. So just in case I ever had to mess with it, and all I do is just pull these wires up, have them sit right there, and then I just completely close this up. Hold on. Uh, sorry about that. Grab that. Anyway. And it just closes just like that, no problem. You can't even see any of the wires. So it's all good in here. And I'm going to turn on my stereo and everything unless you guys hear it. Give me a second. Oh, get out. And I'm gonna let you know what uh, I got the, before I turn on everything, I'm gonna finish telling you what I have in here. This is a 200 and, I mean 2000, 2300 watt 12 uh, 12 boss um, phantom speakers I have two 12s they're both 2300 watts 
And as I told you, the amp that's pushing it is that power acoustic, and that's only a 2500 watt, so these could take more than what that amp is putting out. But that's good, so I never have to worry about blowing these. And then this is just hooked up to my door speakers. I have a Selenium hooked up to this too. So I have two door speakers. Actually, I have two door speakers, two speakers inside of inside up underneath my um up underneath the dashboard and then I have a selenium up underneath the dashboard too because like I had a lot of space I'm gonna show you in a second I had a lot of space up underneath this dashboard of mine for the 2010 Camaro it was insanely ridiculous I mean I loved it I mean it's perfect because I was able to put four speakers up on uh, two speak two speakers and a selenium up underneath it so but uh yeah this amp is running two uh, let's see two regular speakers two door speakers and then a selenium no two speak oh i'm sorry the selenium is being ran off of the uh the power acoustic so this is running four speakers this is running the 2500 power acoustic is running the 212s and my selenium and like i said i prefer um I prefer clarity over bass, but you're going to love how this sounds because the bass is hitting really hard too. So I kind of got the best of both worlds right now. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you where I was talking about. Move this back here. All right. Let me see. Anyway, and then um, I even can have some extra speakers, like little tweeters if I want it. I drilled a little hole into my door panel. Here goes some extra wiring, just in case. I have one tweeter on that side that's hooked up to the 1000 watt amp, that O2 one. Anyway, up underneath here, let's see. See right there, I got one speaker, a Philips regular like surround sound system speaker. And then over there you see I have a selenium. And it's very loud. I got them tied up with some wiring. But I'm telling you, I don't have no problem out of it. It doesn't move anywhere. It's stuck. As you can see, I move. Look. It ain't going nowhere. It's stuck in there. So that's good. And then on the other side, I just have a tweeter inside this side. I'm going to show you. Anyway. And I got this tweeter over here. You can't really see it. It's hard to see inside of here. There's a tweeter, in, a little tweeter in there. And then I have, sorry about this. This is a lot of stuff in my car. I was trying to move everything. And I have that Phillips on, up underneath here. So I have a lot of room. So I'm gonna show you now. I'll go ahead and turn on my stereo and let you guys hear it. I'll play something good that has a lot of bass but it has clarity as well. Maybe like a Wiz Khalifa song or something. I'll just hook it up to my um, phone here. I got a HTC One. I'm drunk, but then they took me some Bud Light. The Bud Light's too strong, that's what we're gonna buy. Hold on. One second, everybody, I'm sorry. Hey. Keys, keys, keys. Should've been out here with you. I didn't touch your keys, honey. Shh. Oh. All right, everybody. I'm sorry about that. No. All right, let me see if you guys can see that. Anyway. What are you doing, Daddy? Anyway, uh, like I said, see, it's still the factory radio. I'm just gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna play a song off of my phone. If he, if he want to record everything, let him record everything. You never know, he may make a million dollars, you know? And then, uh, I'm trying to figure out what song I want to play. Just give me a second, everybody. Come 
I just wanted to show you guys everything. Um, I guess I'll do some Wiz Khalifa song. Uh, oh my goodness. Trying to find a good song that has a lot of bass. I got here. I just do two chains. I'm sorry, everybody. I know I'm taking forever on this. Uh, all right, and I got beast audio on too, so that you guys can know. All right, now you guys can hear me still, kind of. Look it. Is that seven? What's that? 14. Right, I'm gonna bring it up. I could bring it up. I could bring it up to 38. I'm pretty sure I could bring it all the way up if I wanted to, but I just don't like to push it too much. My battery's dying on the on the camera, but uh, the, see you can see my temple is all the way up, uh, my mid range is all the way up, and my bass is negative five right now. It could go to negative twelve or high up to twelve. So I'm gonna just bring up my volume all the way up to my what I could put it at, and then I'm gonna show you my back speakers, and then I'm gonna be done with this video. I'm show you what a pen. Look how look how much it shakes. Ready? I'm not touching it. This is on the trunk. With the trunk closed. Hold on. Keep it on there. And now, like I said, I like that clarity and I got that bass. I'm going to sit back in the car with all the windows rolled up and everything so you guys can really hear it.